My name is Denise Bullox. I live in Chicago, Illinois. I work at Oak Ridge Cemetery, which is located in Hillside, Illinois. I'm in the 21st century. I love that class because it really would help me out at the cemetery as far as um, I wouldn't per se do a whole funeral as a celebrant, but I do have uh, customers that do ask me for a name of a preacher or a pastor or what, can you give me someone that's non-denominational? Now I won't have to look for somebody else. I'll have somebody on site and that's where I can step in at. I'm Lee Stat Miller. I'm from Billings, Montana. I've been a funeral director for about 30 years. The last eight years has been with the uh, a municipal cemetery, which I manage. I'm attending the uh, 21st Century College uh, primarily because I have requests from families outside our area that do not have a local minister or they don't have a minister at all. They're basically unchurched as, as a lot of people are becoming. And there's a more and more demand for it. And not that I will uh, become a, or that I will be a practicing uh, funeral celebrant. I want at least the tools to help families uh, pick one and maybe, um, if, if need be, fill in as a celebrant for a family. The uh, college, the first two days is just that, uh, the training for uh, a funeral celebrant. Uh, matter of fact, my classmates right now are uh, doing mock services, funeral services, that they spent last, or I spent last night writing. Um, and as soon as I get done here, I'll go down there and do my funeral service uh, for a fictitious uh, deceased. I'm Kimberly Ward with Miller Jones Mortuary. I started in 2000 as an apprentice and I currently hold three licenses and am the manager of the Technical Care Center. My name is Kim Koji and I also work at Miller Jones Mortuary. I did pre need with them for four years and I'm currently a funeral director. Last year I took sales and marketing. This time we are in celebrate training. So that helps us to make every funeral unique to that individual, the life that they led. And when people aren't very religious but they're spiritual and they may not want a pastor or a priest or a minister, um, the celebrants actually conduct the service from beginning to end. So it's a great way to get to know the family, the story of that person's life, and then bring that out and personalize it for them. We actually just got we our certificate. <laughs> got our certificate. We're done with the celebrant part. We just graduated right now. And now what we're, they're going to do is have speakers come in about unique services and how you utilize the celebrant in what we do at funerals every day. Um, I wanted to take the celebrants classes my first year to is something new. And um, I don't meet with families and everything. I don't see that. I am more of the backside as an embalmer. And I think it's important for the embalmers and the people that don't meet with the families to know what the families and the funeral director are going through together so we can help make that experience better through the back, the back doors in a way.